there was a sequel or like a prequel to Train to Busan. Train to Seoul? No, no. It was just some... It was not even <laughs> Train ride, to anything. Bus ride to where? <laughs> what was it? Bike ride? <laughs> Bike ride to North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the worst Asian podcast, where a couple Asian American millennials give you our shitty opinion yep. on all things Asian. Yep. My name is Linji. Yes, you are. I'm here with my co host extraordinaire. I don't know about that, but thank you. Ben. Yes. How are ben. you doing? Uh, half amazing, half dumb. You're on time, but you're technically an hour late based on you wanting to come earlier. Yes. So, Ben. Texted me this morning that you wanted to come early. I said, sure, why not? I'm free. You wanted to come at, uh, I think it was 10 o'clock. 10, 10 on the dot. 10 on the dot, which is like an hour earlier than normal. Yeah. So Ben trying to aim to come at 10, which is 8K early, actually shows up. <laughs> he shows up on regular time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was, I'm still technically late. Oh, Thank yeah. You're, you're a couple minutes late, even based off the regular time. Thank you, Doug. But uh, good, good. You're on time. I'm that's, here. That's, that's all a, that matters. Yeah. Also, Linji was so fucking kind enough. I think Linji actually had pity. Kind? He was like, kind? Yeah, yeah, yeah. K-I-N-D. Just, 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 yeah, K-I-N-D. Not the bar. Linji was like, you want me to pick you up? I was like, oh my God. This is like a real moment right now. Uh, I was only offering to pick you up <laughs> from your house. I knew Because I was dropping my wife off and work. Still, and we were nearby you. I know. And I'm going to be very truthful. It wasn't even my idea. My wife is like, why don't you just pick up Ben? Because you're nearby. I was like, Are you oh, serious? yeah. Wasn't even my idea. I don't think I, about you. I'm yeah, 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 yeah clearly. I'm used to you. that. I'm immune to that. My wife is like, just pick him up. You're like out anyways. Oh my god. Um Linji's wife, I'm not saying your name. Thank you. Uh your husband's a dick, but <laughs> thank you. Oh my god. I don't de- I don't deserve her kindness. That's the truth. That's how I always felt. You know what's even funnier? When she what's said up? pick you up, I didn't immediately say, Oh great. You had a knee jerk reaction. Like, I thought about it thinking, should I pick him up still? You're like, I yo, wasn't... baby, I just got into a car accident. I wasn't sure if I should still pick you up. Because you, you, in order to pick you up, I have to go through the hassle of asking you, do you want me to pick you up? You did? And yes. And then... Well, it was just one question, you know, there. That's literally one question. But in question. my mind, I was foreseeing me sitting uh, in front of your apartment for like half an hour. But what did I say? I was like, yo, I, I had a feeling. I was like, I don't want you to wait. And I remember a lot of times, like, guys, for the record, this mad times where Lindsay will pick me up in this amazing... Uh, uh, what's it? Bugatti. Bugatti. You got it. You got it, right? Yeah. And uh, Bugatti Rav Four. Crim- crimson black, right? I think that's the color. With lots of scratches. <laughs> a lot of a lot of scratches. Uh, customized. Mm-hmm. Right from uh, I think from uh, Siberian uh, cats. Right. I don't know what this reference is. I have no idea either. It's a Siberian cat. Yes, but um, what's it? Anyway, shut up. We have to get through a bunch of stuff. Okay. Oh shit, my bad. Okay, if you're listening to this podcast and you want seventy dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> If you want seventy dollars, guys. Not from Linji. Oh no, no, definitely not from me. I'm not giving Locking you guys guy. shit. Okay, seriously, pay attention. If you want a seventy dollar Amazon gift card, this offer is extended to all countries that accept email. <laughs> if you have to, if your country is advanced enough to have email, electronic mail. I guess technically your country needs to be advanced enough to have Amazon, because there are some countries that don't have Amazon, right? Well, actually, that's I, I never thought. Isn't Amazon just a U.S. based country? I mean, uh, company. No, no. There's Amazon Japan. People in Japan have Amazon. There's Amazon. There's a Japanese Australia. Jeff Bezos? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 I'm saying oh. the company Amazon oh. is in a bunch of places. Anyways, um, <laughs> if you're listening to this podcast before November the 15th, 11 15th, uh, then please go find us on social media on Instagram. I made a video uh, last week to us right now in the real time where, I said, uh, where I said I'm giving away a $70 gift card because Ben, when he shows up late, a no show, no call, he owes me an increasing amount of money. Last time he didn't show up, no show, no call. Yes, so, I admitted. Uh, he owes me seventy dollars now, and I don't want to keep the money. I said we'll do this for something for the podcast. So I'm giving it away. Just go to our social media page before November fifteenth. Uh, like that particular video, comment an idea for a future episode, and and follow us. Tag thirty people. And then- <laughs> <laughs> Tag uh, thirty five. I forgot. What's the number again? I I I know we just said it. Uh. You don't have to tag anyone, but tag yo tag some people. <laughs> if you feel like tagging thirty five people, but yo, I'll make a new rule: the more people you tag, the more likely you're gonna win that shit. That's not that that part is not real. That oh, part it's is not, not real. real. I can't make shit up. You can't make shit up. Like <laughs> it's my that. money. No, it's my money now. Oh fuck! That seventy dollars has been transferred over to me. All right, guys. 
we went to custody court and I now own this. <laughs> so if you want to know how the government works and capitalism, this podcast is a great um what's the analogy to it? Yeah. Um the rich get richer. And then she's like Lindsay's like, your money sucks. <laughs> Let's just give it. So uh, check out that social media reel. It'll be there somewhere. Okay. I'll try to link the actual reel on the show notes for this episode if I remember. Future yes. Lindsay, please remember to put it into the show notes. Yes. Also, you know, we say technically it is called money, but it's if it is counterfeit, we are not liable for any... Uh, you know what? Blah, 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 blah. Amazon gift cards are just as good as cash. Oh, fuck. He, see, that's why you're so smart. You threw the gift card. I'm like, it's going to be good. If you think about it, you're it's right. really just as good as cash. It's better. Because everyone buys from Amazon, so you're bound to spend that amount of money anyways. And Amazon is, is one of the few places where if you go to a store, you yeah. can actually get the gift cards with no fee. You know, sometimes when you buy like a Visa gift card, they, do that, or they purchase a percentage, right? Yeah, they charge you like a $1 to $2 activation fee. So you, if you buy a $100 gift card, you have to pay $102. But on Amazon, wherever you go, like a drugstore, wherever, yeah. online from their website, obviously, there is no fee for buying their gift card. So you just get the full face value. So pretty much, um, yo, it's a win-win. Not for me, but for you guys. For you for guys, Linji, it could be a possible win-win. A possible win-win. Okay, it's what free. else? What other... Admin stuff to have to get there before we get to the actual episode. I let me look here. Let me look here. Reviews, reviews, reviews. Okay, I want to thank some people who left reviews for us on Apple uh, Podcasts. I'm gonna quickly just read over some of them. I might have to pause here while I pull up my <laughs> pull up the actual thing on my phone. Okay, I'm back. I pulled up that thing on the reviews. Here we go. I, I want to give a shout out to some people that left us a written review over at uh, Apple Podcasts from Apple. From Apple. From Apple. They're from Apple. Great. This person is titled "The Last Fork Bender." And 21 days to build a habit. They say it takes 21 days to build a habit. Wow. Well, today must be the 21st week I've been listening to Worst Asian Podcast because oh. I went out of my way oh, shit. to open up Apple Podcast app. He listens on a different platform. He or she listens on a different platform. Thank you. Just to leave this five-star review. Wow. Their co- consistent request to leave reviews every episode <laughs> finally worked on me. We're that annoying guy at the bar. We're just like going to annoy the girl. It's like, come on. Oh, Whatever shit. you want to do, just keep doing this. So thank you, uh, Mr. Mr. or Mrs. Last Forkbender. Uh, fork ben- uh, Mr. or Mrs. Forkbender. Thank you. Uh, next review comes courtesy of... I don't know if this is a real name because once again, I'm bad at reading English words. Uh, Let's hear it. I want to hear this. Clayton? Clayton? Clayton Kershaw? No, but it's Clayton spelled very differently. Let's see this shit. It's not Clayton like that. Oh, it's... Oh, what the fuck? Um, uh, uh, Cl- Clayton. <laughs> we're, just gonna, we're just gonna say this is your aim user handle from way back when from the 90s yeah you clearly had an earthquake when you're typing okay uh it says thank you for uh, he or she thank you for this podcast love listening while cleaning everyone reading this give it a listen highly recommend this oh shit sure. that's actually uh n- a nice one <laughs> yeah that's actually a very yeah like that's one of the few very crisp and clean nice ones yes I, no jabs no, no defense walls i had to put up nice 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 thank you oh weird side thing I actually got a couple messages across the last couple of weeks. Apparently, I can only see being in the U.S. reviews from Apple Podcasts USA. So there's actually people that left us reviews in their native country's Apple Podcasts app. And I can't see it because when I log in from my phone... It's, it's only America. America. So in case you guys are like in a different country and you left us a review and you want me to read it on there, if you want me to read it on there, oh, yes. screenshot it somehow from yes. your country's thing. Send it to me on uh, DM, then I'll read it that way. Because otherwise, I really I don't know how to check like UK or Australia or like Japan's like Apple review thing, especially if it's in Japanese. I definitely I did can't not read know it. that. I didn't know that either until recently when someone told me that they left a review and I couldn't find it. Oh, so they're probably like, "Yo, these fucking guys are liars." Or- yeah, like I'm not reading everything. Like, yo, or fuck something. these guys. Okay, uh, today's episode we're gonna segue into it. We're gonna be talking about our favorite Asian slash Asian American movies of the 2000s. Tens? Yeah. Is that what you call it? 2010s. 2010s. So what's the decade before that? The 2000s? The 2000s? Yo, dude, yes. You're, yo, you're the mathematician. Yes, it's the 2000s. No, I'm saying, what is the word for it? Because it's the 1990s, oh, the 80s, uh, the 70s, and the 2010s and 2020s. The ooze. <laughs> okay, the, the ooze. The twos. We have a part one of this episode where we did our favorite movies pre-2010. Yes. So you can go back to that. We did... Uh, an in-depth review of uh, the best Asian American movie ever, Tokyo Drift. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Better look tomorrow. <laughs> Cinema classic. <laughs> I forgot. Oh, so shit. today w- this is part two of whenever the hell we did that. It's our favorite, I guess, modern Asian movies and more recent Asian movies from 2010 and beyond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'll- to commemorate this day, Ben has made us a delicious bowl of uh, burnt of burnt 
popcorn. Yeah. But mm-hmm. yo, popcorn hack. This is a real popcorn hack right here. You gotta make a you gotta make a short clip of this. Oh, do I? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. We made popcorn. It was semi burnt yeah. by Ben. Ben had this whole chef. He had this whole shtick about he ma- how he makes the best microwave popcorn. He he ends up burning the shit. All right. Also, for the record, Liji has like a very powerful like microwave. Yeah, it's not a poor people microwave. It's a real microwave. Yeah, yeah it's a real microwave. Number one, it's gigantic and it's wall mounted. Yeah, yeah, that was it. I was looking at for. I was looking at the floor. I was like, "Where's your <laughs> microwave?" He's like, "Look, dude, it's it's eye level." I was like, "Holy shit!" Eye level with you, Ben. Very I know. Tall I was person. like, "Holy shit!" Um, what's it? Your microwave was so strong, and the key is is you never follow the directions. That's kind of the key of life that I follow. <laughs> never, never. <laughs> <laughs> Never do as you're told. So if you read like the DMV, it's like, yo, signal. Fuck that. <laughs> Don't signal. You know, be like, yo, fuck you behind yo, me. Yo, yo, Ben, that actually <laughs> is your motto. <laughs> Come at 11. Now, nah, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, fuck that. So, but the thing is, I was like, when, when I say, I was like, all right, the secret is, all right, is you got to use a little temperature. And you're like, and Lindsay was like, do you mean time? I was like, oh, yeah, same shit. Starts with a T. And, and I tried doing that, but Lindsay's- um, Failed. Yeah, magnificent microwave. Very powerful. Very powerful. I think it uses some kind of uh, dark matter from the black hole. It's like, it's so advanced. I did it maybe 33% less, and it still kind of toasted it. It still toasted it, yeah. But, but, so the real thing about making it extra, extra, extra delicious is we took yes. the Chinese seasoning that you put onto skewers, like Chinese barbecue skewers, okay. and we sprinkled some of that onto it, and we ate it that way. Yo, life hack, it actually is pretty good. Wait, so this is the first time you, oh shit. This is the first time I decided to make it this way because you burnt it, oh. and then you said, "Do you have butter?" I don't have butter, yeah, but my fat ass said butter. <laughs> I was like, "Yo, do you have I butter?" I didn't have butter, but I immediately pulled out my cabinet. I'm like, "Let me put some of this Chinese barbecue skewer seasoning onto it." Yeah, it is absolutely delicious. It actually saved the popcorn. I was like, "Yo, that red MSG, fucking fire!" MSG, spice, a little bit of salt, a little bit of sugar, probably in this. Absolutely delicious. Linji, yo, dude, you're. You're hounding. Linji's gonna want some of mine. Linji's like, I'll get a smaller portion. I'm gonna put so much seasoning on this, it'll look like Cheetos at some point. <laughs> He's like, oh, where's the ranch dressing? I need some ranch dressing in here, some croutons, some bacon bits. Linji's not even fucking talking right now. He's actually just eating. This it's is really, breakfast. really good. Yeah, so it's your first time doing this shit. Yeah, never did this because I don't eat popcorn. Oh, all right. A little thing to know about Linji. Uh, Linji, um, you know, is a is a communist. Doesn't. <laughs> He doesn't like. I'm good. I feel like you're trying to think of a joke, but all you I came did up that. with. Yeah, I couldn't think of anything. I was trying to think of something worse. I was like, nah, that doesn't work. All right, let's get into the actual episode. So, no spoilers for this whole episode, right? Because these are more modern movies. On the last one where we did older movies, oh, we kind of didn't give a shit. Okay. We didn't give a shit because they're such old movies. Some of these are actually more recent. Yeah. So we'll try our best not to spoil them. Okay. Uh, I'm going to fuck this up. <laughs> I'm going to fuck this up. I don't hard. think you can fuck it up. Because you can give a synopsis for a movie. And actually not be able to spoil it. You know how trailers nowadays, when you watch uh, movie trailers, they give you basically the whole plot. They're so long. They tell you every part of the story. Can I ask you just like a side tangent question since you asked that? Was there ever a trailer you watched that was so misleading that you went to go to the theater and you're like, fuck this shit? Oh, actually, no. I can't think of one right now. Yeah? Can you think of one? Yes. Is that what you're asking me? Yeah. Um, do you remember there was a writing Wait, gossip? Do pornos have trailers? Is that, is that what you're talking about? No, man? pornos are great. You just, you just put your finger on it. And it's just like loads. Like, okay, this looks good. All right. Load. Oh, I got a virus. Oh, fuck. <laughs> um, let's see. Do you remember? I don't know if you remember. There's a movie. I actually don't remember the title, but Ryan Gosling. Handsome Barbie. Oh, uh, no. That's Ken. First of all, you fucking shit. Oh, I, I was oh, fuck. I'm Ryan like, Gosling plays Ken. Yes. He does play Ken. Also from The Notebook. Right? But um, he played... Uh, do you remember this? It was like a gangster film where he was like a driver. But I think it was called Driver. <laughs> I think it was literally called Driver. Do you remember the shit? Is that the one? No. Wait. Drive? Think about it. I'm thinking of a different movie then. Okay, no. The Notebook. All right. So what did you think it was and what did it end up being? So I was really, really excited about this film. To the I thought point, it was like Gone in 60 Seconds, Fast uh, and Furious. Even better. Okay. Even better. I was like, holy shit. Because also had um, my dream car. It was a black Mustang GT. And that's all they showed. Like all these cra- crazy, like, you know, driving yeah, yeah, scenes yeah. and shit, like burnouts. Clickbait. Yeah. Clickbait trailer. And then, like, I started, like, reading the interviews when he, you know, when they do, like, the, um, the tours of the movie. Mm-hmm. And they're like, yeah, this is the first time I get to play, like, a superhero. I was like, holy shit. He used shit. the word superhero. Yo, he was like, yeah, I get to be, like, a badass. Like, he was like, oh, this is going to be, like, a fucking action film. I watched it. It was a notebook part two. I was so pissed. <laughs> I was like, all the action was in the trailer. 
It was a great film. Don't get me wrong. But I was so pissed. They showed you one. everything, right? They showed me everything. Okay. Right? Isn't there times where you watch a film and you're like, oh my God, this, the trailer was the best I part. I know what you're talking about. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but there, I, I have seen trailers where I've either seen all the main action sequences to right. a movie or you went into it thinking there was going to be far more. More than what you saw in the trailer. But you basically got everything you saw in the trailer and that was pretty much it. Yes. And yeah, I was very, very disappointed. I remember. Yep. Okay. So, uh, movies, movies. Oh, sorry. Yes, Asian movies. American movies. These are just Ben and I's favorite. This is not like to say that one is better than the other or these are, you know, worthy of anything because I have a few on my list that's uh, definitely not <laughs> worthy. I was going to put that out there right Do now. Do we ever actually like get to talk like, I don't think we got enough feedback from people saying like, oh yeah, Ben won, Linji won, like in terms of movie choices. It wasn't a contest. This was just us listing our favorites. That's true. Oh. It's not like a death battle kind of thing. It's just a, we went back and forth. Ben, what is one of the ones from your list? You want to talk about oh, your I'll favorite? First? Yeah, you start first. Oh shit. Okay. Let me grab the list. Did you make a list? Please tell me. Okay. I, I did. I did. You were just tell me you did the most research for this episode yeah. than any recent one that we've done. So, oh shit. All right. Hold on. Oh shit. What the fuck? Okay, also, um, you got to help me here. I don't know if I might have mentioned this one movie, but I think we kind of talked about it, Blue Bayou. Oh, we didn't talk about it on the last like one. Like fully, right? Okay, yeah, yeah. Blue Bayou. Yeah, Blue you Bayou, tell what Bayou. The, who's the stars, what the general premise is? Uh, so it's based in Louisiana, directed, acted by Justin Chan. Yep. Right? Um, I didn't expect to enjoy this movie so much. I didn't know what to expect. Yeah. But when you watch the movie, uh, number one thing is like you notice that the main protagonist, he has a actually pretty decent uh, Louisiana accent. And also, yeah. I could be wrong here. I could be wrong here. Babe. To us, it sounds pretty good. It's like, maybe it's just as bad as a uh, white person hearing someone go ching chong. Like, that's a, that's a great Chinese accent. right? It's like, like, oh, that, was, that was immaculate. Spot on, spot on. That was immaculate. It's like, but you, to you us, said it sounded word. like a very good Southern... Louisiana accent that he was doing. Yeah. So pretty much the premise is like, you know, this guy's like running the luck. Um, pretty much he's gonna get deported. He's just trying to change his life around. He unfortunately makes a couple of bad decisions that ultimately could cost him. Um you never saw this movie? We saw it. We saw it together. Ben, we literally made a pilot episode for this podcast. We did, right? Yeah, we so talked. I'll keep it short then. I'll this one. No, 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 no. It was a pilot episode that never released. Oh, oh, it was in like episode one. It was episode zero. That's the one where, where we actually... Okay, guys, this is a bit of a... Like it's trivia or... A, yeah. What do you call it? Like when there's a Easter egg? No, it's not Easter egg. Whatever. This it is, is a Easter Fun egg. fact. This is a fun fact. Fun uh -huh. fact. Fun fact. The first oh pilot God. episode that we ever made for the podcast before publicly releasing it is we made a movie review yes. for Blue Bayou. Yes, yes. So yes. just based on that, I knew that movie came out around the fall of 2021 because that's when we started the podcast. Okay. So right. I can date it to back then. We did a movie review. We yeah. sat on that dining table right there. Over there, yeah. We probably didn't have any chemistry. I don't know what the fuck uh, we're we talking we, about. We migrated to a bigger studio. AKA my living room. <laughs> yeah. We moved three feet to the right. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, that was our first pilot episode that we ever did. So I had hesitation about doing it. I was like, I feel like we've done this. It was like redundancy. Yeah. But it's that very That movie was also good because like you said, the yeah. plot of it is he's fighting to not get deported and he's yes. fighting to keep custody or keep yes. together with his is it daughter-in-law daughter is it blood daughter or daughter-in-law daughter-in-law yeah daughter-in-law but he basically sees her and treats her and they treat each other as basically full blood father right. and dad yeah. right and you know um shout out to justin john this dude does everything by himself yeah you know you mean he's a man of all all trades you know like he directed screenplay acts you know practice the accent and there's nothing about it that relates to us but the I guess it was just really cool seeing. Uh, we talk about. I, I have a kid. I felt, dude, that is one of the few movies yeah. where towards the end of it, I almost at cried. at the end. At the end, right? I yes, almost yes. cried without giving it away. Spoilers, yes. I almost cried. I got emotional too. Yeah, yeah. Because holy shit! Whenever I watch movies and there's like a father-child plot, or it just shows you like that that connection, right? I but, feel it. Yeah, because I empathize and I almost hypothetically imagine myself in that situation with my own son and I'm right. like oh fuck and it really gets you it does right yeah, that, yeah that's how great that's how great his acting was I held back the tears but uh you know being the man that I am I oh, held back the God. tears you know there was a study that just came out saying that like men that cry during movies shows even more emotional strength you know there's another study that just came out that says that people that make their beds first thing in the morning are twice as likely to become millionaires 
compare it with people that don't make their bed in the morning. Where the fuck's my million? <laughs> do you make your bed? Yeah. You make your bed? I even made my fucking brother do that. <laughs> wait, wait, no, 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 no. I mean, you don't force your sibling to do it. You make your I own bed. I do, yeah. You guys sleep in the same bed? <laughs> like, yo, it's like, yo, you want to be a millionaire? Make my fucking bed, bitch. Imagine. You guys and don't, he's just right? like, what the fuck does he mean? <laughs> and like, he's just fucking feathering the pillows and shit. So like, what about my bed? But it's great. Yeah, I try to make, I do make my bed. Sometimes I'm very lazy at it. <laughs> yeah, well, well. So I'm like, all right, half a millionaire? All right, fine. I just have to do a little bit. But just closes the door. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, I'll throw my pillows. You know, I was like, all right, it's against the wall. And then uh, I, I'll do like the little blanket, you know, swoosh. And I'll be, ah, it's, it's all right. It's almost, uh, it's almost perpendicular and shit. You can actually tell when I'm in a bad mental state. Uh-huh. Let's say I'm just not all there or like I'm having like a, a down day, like a down week. Or I'm just fucking, yeah. If you look around my environment, my bedroom, my house and everything, if things are not tidy and they're like shit everywhere and my bed is not made, that means my brain, me mentally, me, Linji, like I'm probably, I'm probably in some state where I'm very much like that in my own head. I would actually This is not that. a joke. This is not no, a joke. No, I I'm believe not, you. Because I'm actually thinking like, that actually would be one of the social cues with you. That just means I'm not in a mental state where I feel like prioritizing cleaning up everything. Yeah, if I see dishes in the sink, I'm like, whoa. Actually, I don't like washing dishes, so that's normal. All right, there you go. That's 110% okay, Linji. I just don't like washing dishes. I'd be dishes. like, oh, shit. I think Linji's like depressed. Yeah, so Blue Bayou, very, very good movie. Yes. You want to do some kind of rating system? Let's do some kind of oh, girl, oh, yeah. rating system, okay? We are holding popcorn. How can, do, how, how can we make up a... I'll tap popcorn. Chewing very loudly. Oh, shit, you're right. All right, sorry, sorry, sorry. How can we make up a rating system using popcorn? 10 kernels. Kernels? What's the maximum amount of kernels? Oh, I got or it. Or five? I got it. What? Um, perfectly cooked popcorn and burnt popcorn. We'll do some, oh, kind, of, we'll do yeah. some kind of scale. I like we'll do that. We'll do some kind of scale, okay? Perfectly warm buttered popcorn. Zero to five? Where every single kernel is popped and none of them is burnt. That's like a 10 out of 10. All right, fine, wait, wait. If it's just completely like burnt, like you press 10 minutes instead of like <laughs> one minute and just turn like on fire, that's like a zero, okay? Uh, this popcorn that you made in popcorn terms is probably like a six out of 10. Okay. Because some of it's still burnt. Really? And this no, amazing, this Szechuan seasoning, not Szechuan, this, uh, is it Szechuan? Mongolian? Whatever. No, this, the skewer seasoning gives it like a eight out of 10. Actually, maybe nine out of 10 because it's pretty good. A nine? No, you know what? If the popcorn wasn't burnt, it would be even better. Ooh, almost, almost Actually, a perfect score. If you think about it, I should have brought another bag. Sometimes when you have skewers, that yeah. little bit of char is actually nice. So Ben, you added char to this popcorn. It all makes sense now. Chef, thank you, Michelin. All right. So um, from a scale of a uh, perfectly cooked popcorn to burnt popcorn, what do you give Blue Bayou? Oh, oh shit! Uh, I, I was still talking about popcorn. Uh, Blue Bayou, a solid. We're using decimals. Just do one to ten. Um, only because of the other films I think are so great. Se can I do seven point five? Oh, okay, you can do seven point five. Half is cool. Seven point five. You know, can I ask you? You know that Dave Portnoy guy, right? Who? Not Dave Porno. Dave Portnoy, the pizza review guy. He goes to pizzerias, has a bite of pizza. I actually don't know this guy. So there's a guy Barstool. He's from Barstool Sports. And that stuff. I know. Yeah, yeah. So he he got famous because he would go to pizzerias and he would just literally grab, you know, go to pizzerias, have a bite. One singular bite. Yeah. Am I good? Yeah. Levels are good? Yeah. All right. Perfect. So he'll bite the pizza. But the thing is, like, I kind of don't like it because he does, like, really specific decimal points. So he'd be like, all right, 7.8. I'm like, how do you? <laughs> I get the fucking point eight. Right. I'm like, how the fuck do you determine that? You get, right? Unless get... he has hundreds of pizzas that he's rated. He does. A lot. And a he lot. can differentiate. This is. I don't believe this that. This is a 7.8 as compared to the other one that was a 7.7. .7. Right? Unless he can remember all that, I it's think bullshit. he's just making shit up. I it's just making thank shit you. up. Thank you. I had a friend of mine that used to uh, use that. Like he'll put on his IG story like a food dish, eight point eight. I'm like, yo, you're a douche. What the fuck is eight? Yeah, 8. I'm 8. like, you're a douche, dude. He's like, why? He's like, why do you have to? Have, well, what does that point eight mean? Like, yeah. how do you, how do you, how do you determine that? I also think when you give like places a food rating, it's uh, it's not doing them justice, right? Fair justice because yeah. you have good days and you have bad days. Maybe you had the pizza when it was cold. Maybe you. With the dumbass that took the pizza across the street and then waited for the bus and went home. Yeah. And it's like half an hour later and you have cold pizza. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So like his thing is as soon as he always orders a full pie and then he, as soon as he steps out, that's when he opens it, examines it, then okay, he bites it. Okay, that's actually a fair basis. Yes. A full pie means they're usually baking it fresh. Yes. You're not it, getting like exactly. the leftover pizza. So he That's is, actually fair. That's actually yeah. fair. 
But then it's like, you know, the decimal point, it's like, ugh, dude, I don't know, man. And so he'll say the rating. So for him, if you get anything above an eight, that's like, it's like, yo, that's I just kiss. made you famous. Yeah, I made yeah, you yeah. famous. Okay. That's that's a, what does he do with the rest of the pizza? Oh, sorry guys, we will get back on track. We're like tangenting oh, a lot. Oh shit, yeah. Um, I don't know. Yo, there's no way he eats it all. Sometimes he does give it to people. Sometimes they'll walk by. Mm. He's like, you want a slice? I know, just take a slice and walk away. He's like, all right, fuck you too then. I'm gonna give uh, please, yes, buy you a uh, eight point two seven. Oh, <laughs> oh shit! All right, so all right, I like that. I like it better, and it hits closer to me because I'm a father. Yeah, you felt it like you're. Like, oh shit, this. This guy's real. Yeah. And he played a Korean guy that didn't really feel Korean at all. Yeah. That was this whole thing, right? Like, he didn't feel Asian. Like, it wasn't an Asian movie. Yeah. In some parts, it was. Because he was a Korean adoptee that was brought over to this country. Oh, shit. Good memory. And didn't have the correct paperwork. Holy crap. And that's not a spoiler. That's why he was being deported. Yeah, that's not the main... Yeah. Because he came here as a baby. So, he to him, he's been in America since he was a fucking... In diapers. Holy crap. Dude. Great memory. He's fighting this thing where he's being deported from a country that's not his own country, even though he's been here since he was a few months old because right. he's a Korean adoptee. Right. That's his whole thing. But his parents never did the proper paperwork when they brought it over. Sounds like me. It's just technicalities. That's why yeah. he has to be deported. Um, yeah. So I give it a solid 8.2. What did it say? 8.253? Two, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. 8.253. 8.253. Great movie. Okay. You guys should go watch it. Um, my movie. Oh, man. I genuinely do get really excited because I have no idea what <laughs> what fucking bullshit you're gonna throw. No, Yo, it's not bullshit. No, some are like home runs, and then I'm like, dude, what the okay. fuck? You know my favorite genre, right? One of my favorite genres is a uh, sci-fi. Yes. A subgenre of sci-fi that I love watching because me and my wife are always into it. Okay. Is a uh, zombie. Oh, uh, now I can't say shit because you you have to throw the wife card. Like, oh no, but zombie, but, zombie yeah, movies are great. Cool. Fine. Train to Busan. Oh fuck. Train I, to that, Busan. All right, fine, fine. I'll give you a that was a great movie. That was a good movie. Train to Busan. I know we said Asian slash Asian American, so that's fine. No, it counts. All genres. We this don't watch that much international films, but we watched a few international films that get big enough that they make their jump over here to the US. It was a great movie. Yeah, it was a fucking great movie. That was so good. It was so good. It had um, it had the guy from Squid Games, the handsome Korean guy. Oh shit! Yes, it, yes, yes, the, the same handsome one. Korean guy. Let's I don't wait, don't th say the name, please. Don't don't fuck me up. They're all handsome, but you know which one I'm well, talking about. Well, not all of them. The but main guy. The main guy. The main guy was yes. He's very handsome. He's very handsome. Uh. It's also one of those things because I've watched so many zombie movies that I actually yeah. don't remember every plot of that movie. <laughs> <laughs> but you kind of can, you, you still remember there's like an emotional it's attachment. It's a good and stuff. feel to it. I remember loving it. I watched it twice, but I, I bet you in some part of the back of my brain, I'm mixing it up with that movie, Snowpiercer. <laughs> <laughs> with Chris Evans. With Chris Evans. <laughs> so you remember the time Chris Evans and that Korean guy fucked up like the whole, whole squad? Remember that shit? I can't even remember. Was Don Lee in Snowpiercer or was he in Train to Busan? And then you're like, yo, remember when like in Snowpiercer, he grabs a shield <laughs> and he finds Bucky and shit? Oh, shit. I forgot. Uh, also, uh, Snowpier uh, Snowpiercer, great movie directed by a Korean man. Yes, yes. yes. As well. Um, I'm not going to say his name. Because <laughs> you don't I, know his name. For sure, I, don't remember. I think it starts with Kim. Something with Kim. Dude, and, it's and the he, same guy that directed Parasite. Parasite. Yeah, oh, it's, it's the same thing. We said at the same time because I was See, like, we connected it. It yeah. is Asian, Woo. and it had Don Lee in it. Wait, which one had Don Lee in it, or did they both have oh, Don Lee? Rush Hour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm so bad with this. But Train to Busan. <laughs> if you guys like like yes. uh, zombie movies, you should really go watch it. I I don't yeah. know where it is now because I remember watching it on. I want to say I think I saw it on Netflix. I think I think so. Yeah, maybe maybe someone gave me the torrent file. I actually don't um, remember. No spoiler alert, right? Um, there are zombies. Yeah, there are zombies on a train, right? <laughs> uh, going to Busan. To Busan. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh shit, there's a one trip uh, destination. But there's one character. Do you want to give his Korean name, bud? Uh, yeah, uh, Park Jong Il. He's the big. <laughs> I can't even know if you're serious. I have no idea, dude. But he's like the. He's a badass. But I remember there was a girl that I was seeing, right? And then, you know, she's like, oh, you know, you remind me of this Korean actor. Was I'm she like, Korean? She was Taiwanese, actually. Oh, right? and I was like, sorry. Oh, why? I was <laughs> I'm like, just kidding. My wife's half Taiwanese. <laughs> oh, nah, it's okay. And I was like, okay. So, you know, I'm like puffing my chest. I'm like, oh, she it has to be some handsome guy, right? Like 95% of Korean male actors are handsome. Yeah. She picked the fat dude that like fucks everyone up. Was that Don Lee? Was that Don Lee? Oh, maybe it is Don yeah. Lee. Yeah. The dude that's in uh, that Marvel movie. Eternals. Eternals. That, that's Don Lee? That's Don Lee. She sent me. A, she didn't even tell me his name. She just sent me a picture of him. 
And I saw it and I was like, <laughs> I was like, damn. If you guys are watching this on YouTube, I'll try to put up a picture of Don you Lee. should. Yeah. I would try to find the one that looks closest to Ben of him. Thank you. Um, Maybe one the way he's eating like a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, like, I, I didn't give a fuck because I was like, damn, she's hot. I was like, you can, you can say I look like a Korean K-pop uh, female star. Were you was, dating her at the time or no? We were. We were. Yes, we were. So I was very surprised. And I was like, yo, you're too hot for this then. Too I, hot for Train to Busan? Yeah, like compared to like, her. Are you saying hot people don't watch Train to Busan? No, as in like to her, that's who I she thinks I look like. All right, fuck it. I don't care. Donnie's a good looking man. He's just like thick. Yo, you think he's good looking? Yeah, yeah. I'll oh. show you a picture of him later. Maybe you, you're you just thinking of him as a bum from that train. <laughs> no, I thought he was a badass. I was just like, damn, I thought you were going to say the main guy. Dude, I must have my brain mixed up. I also think yeah. Donnie was in Snowpiercer. Dude, dude, honestly, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna believe you. I'm gonna Chris, Evan, Chris Evans was in Train to Busan. Yeah, Chris Evans. Was <laughs> yeah, in, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, uh, Train to Busan. Okay. Uh, Rating. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Oh, fuck. You said eight point two, uh, three five, one eighth for Blue Bayou. They're two different genres, so I can't rate them next to each other. I just like zombie movies and sci-fi stuff much better. Yeah. So I give Train to Busan a eight point five. Whoa, I put it above, okay. above, because I think it's a more fun time. I agree with you. It's a more fun time. Also, Linji was happy. He was like, oh, Koreans, we're lowering the number. I was like, perfect. There was a sequel or like a prequel to Train to Busan. Train to Seoul? No, no. It was just some, it was not even <laughs> Train ride, to anything. Bus ride to where? <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Bike ride? <laughs> Bike ride to North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, fucking Kim Jong-un was like, oh, I'm a zombie and shit. That's the final boss. What would be scarier? North Korean zombies or South Korean zombies? Oh, f- oh damn, bro. Oh shit! I'm not trying to make a no. I'm not trying to make some kind of commentary, but I think North Korean zombies would be scarier because they're already like starving. Yeah, I was gonna say they're fucking. They're like they're famished. Yeah, they're, they're fucking. They're extra starving. hungry. They probably would have eaten you even if they weren't zombies. They would definitely eat Don Lee, bro. Because like, <laughs> yeah, they see it's like, oh, he's so supple. He's like, yo, he's got he's got extra flavor. He's like A five Wagyu, like <laughs> Korean A five Wagyu to them. Hanwu, Hanwu. That's oh, the, Hanwoo. <laughs> Hanwoo. That's the Korean like fatty oh, beef Hanwu. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would you give the movie then? I agree with you. 8.5. Really? Yeah. Dude. Higher than yeah. that? It was a great movie. Emotionally uh, drained you, you know? Yeah. And Lots from- of good looking Korean men. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and start to finish, it was just a really great, you know, like thrill ride. You know, yeah. and I think that's the thing. When you watch an action flick, if it gets you from the beginning to the end, boom, that's all it's supposed you know to do. I actually want to re-download, not download, stream. I don't download oh, shit. You mean pay for it, right? Rent, rent. You I want to repay for Train to Busan because I actually course. feel like watching it right now. You should. I actually feel like watching. It's pretty good. Yeah. Because I haven't seen it in years. Okay, Ben, what's next on your list? All right, all right. Uh, What do I have? Wow, I, I am so messy here. Oh, uh, The Big Sick? The Big Sick? Yes. I have not seen this movie. Is it even Asian? What is the big stick? So the big stick, let me just double check his name because I know I'm going to fuck it up. Kumal Nanjiani? Yeah. So you know it then. I vaguely remember the poster for this movie, but I don't think I ever saw it. This one? Yeah, I'll show you a little picture. Yes, yes, yes. So what was it about? It's a rom-com, but it's actually based about how he met his wife. Wait, are we just accidentally looking for movies with all the actors from the Eternals? Holy shit! I didn't well, even wasn't think about he that. in the Eternals? He is. I forgot what was his power. What right, guys, his power? Very quickly, I think we have to say that the Eternals, the Marvel movie, the Eternals, is also a very good Asian movie. Given oh, how oh, many sh- Asian people they have in that movie, holy crap! I didn't think. Holy Gemma crap! Chan. Gemma Chan was also holy a- crap. Don Lee, yo, Kumal. Oh my god, you're right. That's the greatest. Dude. <laughs> that's the greatest Asian American movie of the 2010s plus. Oh my god, yo! Can I be honest with you? Going on to what you said. I actually really enjoyed the internals. I thought it was it was enjoyable because I just like superhero movies. Yeah. So I always am more biased towards it, but it was probably not one of the uh the better ones. Are you saying that because compared to story Marvel? plot and stuff like that, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. I just thought it was okay. Okay. It's just thought it was okay. How many how many uh burnt to um you know perfect popcorn? Uh six point five. Whoa. Yes, six point five. Okay. I'll say seven. For the Eternals? Yeah, I, I liked it. Random Asian movie. <laughs> we, we didn't even think about that. Holy shit. Um, greatest, most recent. Yo, you know what? Holy shit. Got good point, dude. The best part about Holy the shit. Eternals was Don Lee, the Korean dude, got together with Angelina Jolie. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did. Well, we can't give away that part, right? 
Well, they had a like loving relationship. Nah. No, nah, dude. I think you're Mr. Mer- no, dude. Yo, I know yo, what after happened. Train to Busan. Go watch it. Yo, Angelina Jolie fucking friend zoned the shit out of that dude. Oh, you're saying that bad way. I'm saying, oh, okay. You're saying because he was friend zoned. They were great. They were really good friends. Yeah, they're really good friends. Yeah. They're really good friends. Yeah. Like we're good friends, but no sex. Which base do you think that they got to? Maybe first base only. Just I think holding hands. Oh, okay. That's it. They never kissed. Yeah. Bun single. <laughs> <laughs> On an error. On an error. error. <laughs> error. Okay, it's an error. He got to first base on uh, an error. She's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Whoops. Yo, we're, yo, let's just be friends, bro. That's what uh, she said. But we're eternal, we're eternal friends for life. Big sick, big sick. Big stick or big sick? <laughs> Do you want to say something else, dude? I was like, yo, be careful, bro. Big sick. You're saying that you like big sick. <laughs> yeah. Stop shoving popcorn into your mouth and tell me about this big sick movie. I'll give you a second to uh, finish All right. That. All right. Let me... You had it on your list, so it, it must be good for some reason. Yeah, dude. I, you know what's crazy? You know what I loved about doing this episode was I forgot. I had to do a little more research. And then I was like, oh, shit. There was a lot of great Asian, you know, uh, movies. Tell me about this goddamn movie. We're oh, oh, running long on time. Uh, Kubali is a Pakistani comic who meets an American graduate named Emily at one of his stand-up shows. As a relationship blossoms, he soon becomes worried about what his traditional Muslim parents will think of her. But then oh, okay. So it's a rom com. Yeah, rom com. It's a rom com. That's your favorite category. That's why you yeah, love rom coms. Yeah, but it was really good because, like, also it was based. That's you know, it's based on his like love life, right? Oh, is it? Yeah, that's it's based off his wife. Oh, it's like it's a real rom com. Yeah, I just can't get into rom coms. That's my thing. I don't know. I don't know. That's that's my own thing. If I Luigi have, doesn't want to cry. If I have anything else to watch, I will watch something else. But I'll probably save the rom coms for like last. Although, one of my favorite, like... The, it's funny, too, though. Is it? Yeah, dude. Come on, bro. All right, fine. Okay. So, what would you give that movie? That one, I'll give it a solid 7.963. Uh, You're rating that higher than Boo Bayou? Uh-huh. you rather laugh than cry. No, um, only because it felt more realistic. And also, it's based on, like, his actual real... Boo Bayou is based on, like, the lives of a lot of Korean adoptees. Yeah, but not that exact story, but the fact that you know they come here and they have are at risk of being deported. Oh yeah, that, definitely. Yeah. That, yes, you're totally correct. But the fact that like, yo, know, it's like he made such a great film, and it's about his actual wife. Yeah, you know, like it's a success story, and it's like, oh shit, yo, just imagine this movie sucked, and it's like, oh, by the way, baby, you're you're the main character. <laughs> That's the thing. Like if the movie bombed, if if it bombed, you know, it was his first film. It was just great. It was touching. And that was before he got jacked too, right? That was just before he got jacked. Before he got jacked. Because that was just before Eternals. Before he became Yo, a god. He couldn't, yeah. he couldn't make that movie and have it feel real if he was just super jacked. Because <laughs> the whole point of that movie is just a regular Indian yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a regular like yeah. looking Indian dude. Yeah. Just imagine he came out in like six pack. Guys, I have such a hard time getting women. Yes. Yes. But yeah, that, that's the thing. I didn't realize it was actually based off like afterwards. Like, oh shit, this, this is what you went through? I can't give this a rating because I never saw the movie. So I'm going to give it a solid zero. <laughs> <laughs> I, what a dick. <laughs> well, actually, you're being fair, actually. That is being fair. I'll give it a zero. Sorry. Go. <laughs> Cue the average. Okay. Uh, this is recency bias, but I just saw the movie Past Lives. Okay. It's an A24 movie. Oh. It's a Korean-American movie. And this is so recent that I'm sure most people haven't even seen it. So I would try it came out. It came out this year. It came out like a couple months ago. What's it called again? Past Lives. Past Lives. I'm going to actually look up the uh, name. Just double check. I'm saying, yeah, Past Lives. It's a A24 movie. I'll give you the premise and it's not giving away anything. It's, uh, it's two Korean uh, kids. I think they're like teenagers and they are semi in love. Not even in love. The boy is in love with the girl. Okay, okay. Are they young? Yeah, and, but they're really, really good friends. They're teenagers, right? Oh, the boy okay, is okay. in love with her and then she is moving to America or to Canada or somewhere, right? Uh, so she has to leave him, and then he's very sad, blah, blah, blah. So she, she moves to Canada. She starts her whole life there. She eventually ends up in New York. And then... This is already... I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> I'm like, that sounds sad. The whole premise of the movie is that they reconnect with each other. They reconnect with each other and... Do like via Tinder? She, at that point, is already married. Oh. <laughs> I want to watch this now. She's married... It's not a comedy. It's a very sad story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How do you fucking say, hey, she's married and I fucked up her fucking, <laughs> uh, fucked up her fucking marriage? 
So <laughs> featuring Jim Carrey, they reconnect, and then she's already married. But then there's clearly like a spark that's still there. Oh, so the premise of the story is like Koreans are fucking homewreckers. <laughs> 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 oh, oh shit guys if you watch this movie i can't give away any more without uh, giving away Dude, but i just stood up I'm, i i want you i love this right now. i'll take a couple seconds for the for the few people that have seen the movie yes are you team the husband team the wife or team the korean dude because to me i think me oh. and my wife differed like who are we most with okay uh oh, that's a, I, I like that okay who's doing something wrong who's not doing something wrong who's more at fault even yeah. though everyone's at fault I would say the husband is not at fault. He has oh, not. All right, fine. He's done nothing. Yeah, he's a victim. <laughs> he's a victim. Yeah, he's he's the victim. He's a victim, victim of circumstance. Yes. All right, but past lives, like I said, recency bias. I give that movie. Oh man, it's almost as good as Blue Bayou. Actually, you know what? Maybe it's even better. Ah. Oh shit. Okay. Recency bias. Recency you're saying? bias. I'm gonna give it the same seven point two five seven. You're giving it the same exact <laughs> fucking <laughs> score as Blue Bayou. Guys. guys, you should watch this movie. It's pretty good. I actually do want to watch it now. You should watch it. I want to see. I'm like, all right. And it's in English. There is like God. some Korean because they Thank have a God, but it's a uh, subtitled. Yeah. All right. I like that. All right, Ben, what's next on your list? Let's try to get through some of these before this gets a little bit too long. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, I don't know if we talked about it. Uh, Gran Torino. <laughs> Did we talk about? I don't think that's 2010 though. I think that's actually older. Yeah, but fuck it. <laughs> these are my rules. Oh, come on. All right, go. Gran Torino. It's not an Asian movie. It's a. It, it kind of is. It's a Clint Eastwood movie. Oh, it's one of Clint Eastwood's best fucking movies. It just randomly has a Hmong character, has a Hmong community in it. Uh, yeah. Um, what's it? And I love that how uh, Clint Eastwood is like, "Hey, Toad." It's like it's Tao. Yeah, Toad. Yo, we watched it together. You that movie that? was actually kind of racist. If you no, dude, it was hella racist. Okay, uh, I haven't watched that movie. Since we first watched it together. Yeah. But now I'm going back on some of the stuff. I'm like, they would not put that movie out right now. They wouldn't put that movie out. Or at least Shit. they would tone it down a lot. So I was re-watching some of the scenes. And I was like, oh man. Yo, every comment is like, yo, this is racist as fuck. So Ben, one of your favorite Asian movies is one where it's super, Asi super racist towards Asians. How does that make any sense? Because it breaks that. <laughs> when you get past the racism. Right? Yeah. You realize, like, Clint Eastwood, right? He's one of the antagonists, right? And then there's Tao, a.k.a. Toad, or Meow Meow. The kid. Yeah. The kid. What's the movie about, for those that haven't seen What's the premise of it? So, pretty much, there's a kid that's kind of, you know, young teenage uh, Asian boy living in America, right? Uh, he gets with the wrong crowd in the in Hmong culture, and he tries to steal a car. Yes. To initiate in a gang, and it happens to be Clint Eastwood, his neighbor, yep. uh, Gran Torino. Right? That's a type of car. Yes. Uh, American Muscle, classic car. He gets caught. Um, but I think what's great about it is... Um, the movie is basically about the relationship that's built between Clint Eastwood and, and the kid. Yeah. Through this... Not tragedy, but through this uh, course of... Interesting coincidence. Uh, co consequence, I guess you could say. Yeah. So um, Clint Eastwood plays like an old army veteran that served in the Korean War. He's literally like the guy that sits in his front lawn and says, get off my fucking lawn. Yeah. Get off my fucking lawn. That's literally his character right there. Actually, I think there's a scene with that. <laughs> where he says that, get off my front lawn. There's a scene where like uh, Tao is getting fucked up by the Hmong gang that's trying to initiate him. Yeah. And, you know, he's, you know, he has a sister that's trying to protect him. And it's at night. And then you see Clint Eastwood come out with like a fucking M16 and be like, get off my front lawn. Get off my fucking lawn. I used to stack you Asians like a sandbag. And I was like, oh my that's God. That's racist as hell. It's racist as hell. <laughs> that's so fucking racist. But the thing is like, yo, mind you, Clint Eastwood was like in his fucking 80s. And I'm like, oh my God, this guy is so fucking scary as fuck. Can old people get away with being slightly more racist just because it was their time? I actually, great question. I kind of actually do, I'm a little more flexible about the race. Me too. I'm like super flexible. Like if it's an old person that says like, even if they say gook, but it's like right. the, Nicest use of the word gook. Imagine like someone's like just went to say, Oh, you're like, I wish all gooks were like you. <laughs> I'll be like, Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, but uh, they're called Koreans yeah. now. Um, so I don't know if you know this, but like uh, when I used to be a waiter at Zuma, sweetest old lady, right? With her friend, maybe in her 80s and stuff, right? Super polite. She was having a lunch. And then like it got to a point where she was about to leave. She's like, Sonny. What's your name? <laughs> what? Why does it sound like she's about to have a heart attack? She's old. 
And you know, like like even like picking up chopsticks, I was like, uh, Miss, I can feed you. <laughs> and I remember I was I was so touched. I, was, I bent over. I was like, Whoa, 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 whoa! Not 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 not, not reverse one. I you know I leaned in. Sorry, I leaned in, and I was She's like, a cougar. <laughs> no, 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 dude, no, no. She was like a she was like a mummy at that point. So I I, I leaned over, and I was like, I was like. Oh my God, uh, Miss! Uh, I'm choking on the popcorn. <laughs> I was like, uh, Miss, my my name is Ben. She's like, No, what's your real name? <laughs> and I was like, This fucking racist bitch. And I and I still gave in. I was like, Pyong. <laughs> and I still said it because I knew deep down. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. I was like, She's not racist. It's just just curious. Old people are just curious, and the the lexicon, the words that they use are just outdated. Which yeah. is yeah. She's like, Oh, I love you, Orientals. You know, I'm like, Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> It's like, you know, my son, he fought in your war. I'm like, oh, thanks. But, uh, <laughs> um, shout out to Clean Eastwood. What do you give this movie? Uh, Gran Torino, a solid 8.8. Yo, that's, that's the highest one you've given so far. I mean, yeah, dude. Gran Torino is the shit. Think about it, bro. It's about a very, you know, um, I don't want to say minute, but it's not a Asian culture that you don't hear enough about. Yo, shout out to that movie. They actually right? got a real Hmong people yes. to play the Hmong characters in the movie. Yes. It wasn't like they were all I, they weren't actors. What they could have done was taken Don Lee, the Korean guy, <laughs> and, and just said, "All right, dude, you're Hmong now." They're like, "Oh, uh, Donnie Yen, you really should have, <laughs> we need you to be the sister and shit." <laughs> but that's the thing. They had a shaman. There was a scene where I remember Clint Eastwood. He's eating right. He's drinking a Heineken. He's like, "Why are they all looking at me?" Right. And he's like, "Why are these fish heads looking at me?" <laughs> oh I was like, oh, "I love this guy." I fucking love this All right, shit. guys. If you want to get triggered, please go watch this movie. Oh, yeah. Um, also, another uh, great scene is um, Clint Eastwood saves the sister, right? From, like, these bad kids. Yeah. And he does that gangster shit where he's just, like, pretends he has a gun. In, and remember? He's like, in his uh, jacket pocket. He's like, yeah, you pussy. Remember? <laughs> That's the, I think he said pussy, like, 90 <laughs> times in that film. But this is the great part. Uh, ben loves this movie. I love this fucking movie. And, then, and the best part was it's a bunch of black kids, right? And they, they're fucking scared. But there was one white kid in there, you know, also part of the gang. Yeah. People don't notice that's actually Clint Eastwood's son. Oh, yeah. And the best part is that he's like, he calls him a pussy. In the, he, <laughs> he's like, yeah, you fucking pussy. Pull your pants. <laughs> I was like, holy <laughs> shit, that's your kid, bro. Like, imagine like your dad's like, I want you to film. This your, you don't say shit. I just son you. 8.8. Um, I give that movie like a, a 7. I want to fight Lindsay. I give it a 7. Just a seven? Come on, dude, raise it up. We saw it together. It was great. You were laughing nonstop. It's a good movie. Um, but in terms of, uh, I'm gonna just put it under this, this um, because Linji's not an 80 year old fucking war veteran that lives next to the among people. That's why. My next uh, favorite movie. Oh, great. We gotta get through a, a bunch of these. Let's talk about these big ones before people say, "Yo, you didn't mention this movie." Okay, let's just talk about them. Okay. Crazy. Rich Which Asians. one you want to talk about? Crazy Rich Asians. Nah. Parasite. Everything, everywhere, all, all at once. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the farewell. Oh, let's talk about the farewell. Okay, I think that's the most unique one there. I mean, everything, everywhere. That was. We'll talk about briefly. Okay. Briefly, the farewell is an Aquafina movie where she, her family finds out that her grandma is dying, is terminal, and is about to die. Yes, but it's a very customary Chinese thing where they think it's bad luck to tell the dying person that they're about to die. Yes, uh, this is actually a very normal thing that happens. It doesn't happen to every single family, obviously. It's all, you know, circumstantial, but it is... Not like Gran Torino. No one bats their eye when they hear about a family that does this type of thing where they don't tell the sick person. No one thinks really? that... In, in Chinese culture or... Yeah. No one thinks that it's weird. It's not something that happens to every family. I, I understand it, but though. I, no I, one I thinks it's weird. I understand that logic. So, yeah. I just didn't know it's like, like a Chinese thing. It's not a Korean thing, is it? No, Koreans, dude, we make a K-drama out of it. <laughs> it's like, yo, guess what? Ben has butt cancer. Let's fucking, you know, let's make it worse. You know, that's what Koreans like to fucking do. So um, the premise of the movie is that they all have to go back to China to say goodbye yes. to the terminal grandma. Yes. But they can't tell her that she's terminal. And Alcofina's character is the only one that is like having that struggle where she yes. wants to tell the truth yes. to her grandma because she thinks... You know, you should know more, that- morally. She she's fighting between like what is the right thing to do, and it's she's trying to find her direction in the film. Yeah, and pretty much she's ultimately always getting disappointed. But that's the beauty of it. You know, she's trying to find that moral compass. Yeah, it's um, it's a pretty good movie. Great, you know what? Great fucking movie. I'm gonna also have to repay for that movie soon. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes, I, I was gonna, I'm trying to pour my coffee. Where can I repay for this movie? <laughs> yeah. uh, I think they're releasing in the theaters, AMC. I'm also trying to figure out if I paid for it in the first place the first time oh, around. You, you definitely did, dude. I definitely did, right? Yeah, dude. Okay. I think you got the yearly package for that one. I actually... Okay, I'm going to give this that movie... I swear to God, if it's higher than Gran Torino. 7.9. You... 7.9. That's almost a whole fucking number. <laughs> a whole number. It's definitely better than Gran Torino. Dude. <laughs> Ben's so sad. He's so upset. We watched Gran Torino together. Ben loves his racist movies. It's not even racist. It's... What's great about that film is that you... Yo, like... You're not going to see another movie like Gran Torino. He's an old guy. And he took, like, a random Asian culture... And he was so able to be like, it's not about being Asian, you know? Remember when he was at the club and Clint Eastwood? You don't remember anything about this movie. That's <laughs> no, why. I See, there was a scene, right? Man, I really fucking love this why movie. Why are we still talking about this movie? Can we there was a it? scene, right, where um, Clint Eastwood, right? He's like, fucking yum yum. <laughs> there was a girl. It was like a house party. Her name was yum yum? It wasn't. It was like yoi or some shit, right? But, <laughs> but he calls the toe. He's like, god damn. I think you're worse than <laughs> reading women than stealing cars. And he's like, you're such a pussy. Little yum yum over here. <laughs> She's clearly into you. And you got these fucking, you know, Charlie Chan and all this shit like fucking taking her. What are you, a pussy? And I was <laughs> like, and you know, I was like, oh shit. Like he actually cares. That's what I'm saying. It breaks the um, racial barriers and it becomes more about like, oh, just being a good role model. Like Clint Eastwood finds his direction again. If it makes you feel better, I'll raise my score from a 7 to a 7.04. Uh, 7.03 fuck you man this guy yo Gran Torino go fucking watch it actually Pharaoh is good too give me one more movie from your list uh, oh um this is actually not a movie um <laughs> is it a song no <laughs> it's not, a song. <laughs> not what the fuck Ben's gonna show me a, a TikTok video <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's from HLT that's from BTS um there's this uh, Netflix uh, series called um Master of None uh featuring Aziz Ansari Oh, it's a comedy special. Yes, Let's yes. Let's save the... Because I actually want to do this, but for TV shows and specials. Oh, fuck. Just kidding. Okay, what's the actual real movie from your thing? Fine, fine. We'll talk about TV shows in the future episode. Actually, yeah. That would save a lot of... Yeah. That's one more topic that we need. Yeah, actually, exactly. <laughs> um, I want to talk about the movie Gook. Also, like, another Justin Chan film. Okay, yeah. That stars... David... David... Uh, David Cho? David, David so. Song. David So. So, oh my God, David, um, I know you're going to be on our show later. So, uh, you know, I apologize, <laughs> brother. But um, yeah, great fucking film. I actually only saw half the movie. Yeah? Yeah, I don't remember when, but it was a long time ago. It's, it's loosely based on like uh, the LA uh, riots, you know, yep, yep. Uh, Korean Americans. But there's like an interesting uh, relationship between a young black African teen along with, you know, a native Korean American Amer uh, Korean American living in an LA liquor store owner or a deli owner. It was a shoe store owner. Shoe store owner. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, there was also liquor stores. Yeah. But it was just really interesting just to like kind of tie into like more of a human humanistic view of like the whole LA riots. Yeah. Did you actually learn most of your history about the riots from that movie? Be honest with me. Yeah, I was like, news is fake. You Did know? you not know anything about it prior? No, to I knew it. about the LA riots, but you I just know thought, the fine details. Yeah. Well, I mean, like that. That's true. That's a uh, fiction too. Uh, I'm trying. Yeah, not the riots are fiction. That movie was a fictitious story. Right. Um. Also, shout out to David. Uh, David So. Like, he actually did a really great job acting in it. Yeah, which is so weird because when you see him, like, he does a lot of comedy stuff, and he's like such a like fun, quirky person. And he, oh. but he did real acting in there. Yeah. He like there was scenes where he was actually like legit mad. And I was like, oh fuck! Like he can he can actually act. Yeah. It's uh, too bad that he doesn't do more acting roles like that. Yeah. Uh, there was a scene where like they, they, you know they're working at a store and these like black chicks are hitting on David. Yeah. And it's like, oh, yo, for an Asian, you're pretty cute, right? And I was like... I feel like that's what you get sometimes, too. Yeah, I'm like, oh, my God. this For an Asian, you're pretty this. Insert yeah. that. For an Asian, you're pretty that. Insert this. They always have to... Yeah, there's always a little disclaimer. Why can't I just be pretty? Insert whatever it is, right? Right. Yeah, I was like, yo. For an Asian, you're pretty tall. Yeah, it's like, yo, that's low-key racist. That is, that. right? It is, yeah. It's like you're trying to give a compliment, but then you're also... A backhanded compliment kind yeah, of thing? Yeah, it's weird. It is. But it is. like you said... Hopefully, it's just with good intentions. Right. And then, like, he's, and then, like, he falls for it. And it's like, you can't do better than that. He was like, well, it doesn't matter. Just got, and then you see, like, fucking Justin in the back is like, yo, douche. No. And then David's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> and then the girls don't even give him his number. Yeah. And they, they just, like, walk out and shit. And I was like, oh, that's, 
I, I, that's for, realistic. very relatable. Realistic. What do you give that movie then? Um, Gran Torino's a masterpiece. So, what did I give Gran Torino? Nine point four. Give it like uh, a, like an eight point eight or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm gonna give this one a uh, eight point eight point six. 8. Oh, 6. that's pretty high. That's like higher than, than all the other ones. Because okay. there's a there's a really cool scene where he's talking to like an Ajishi that knew his father. Mm-hmm. And the one thing, actually, I'll ask you this: when you watch like a like an American film that's like like The Pharaoh, right? Okay. I mean, obviously, I'm not Chinese, but from what it sounds like, I'm like, oh, th- like they really went out of their way to make it as authentic. I guess you can say, in a way, like the it dialogue, on the movie, the, the I, dialogue. I guess the dialogue is. Oh crap! Actually, you know what I'm saying now, right? Oh, you know it's funny. I think What's the up? farewell yeah. was meant to be. They went back to her grandma in China. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But I remember that. Yeah. If you're a Chinese person and you know, you could clearly tell they were in Taiwan. Oh, really? Yeah, they were in Taiwan. Like just by like the back, uh, like the background. By some of the languages and, and the, the food? written languages and like the really? scenery, you could tell that they clearly didn't film in China. They filmed in Taiwan. So can I ask you this? Like, it, it doesn't really matter to me. It doesn't matter because it doesn't like take me away from it. And I guess right. for like political reasons they probably right, could, yes. they couldn't it, film in china true. obviously so i'm not gonna be yo this is not in fucking china so blah 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 is it um it's better than them filming like a fucking flushing and like telling me it's it's china <laughs> yo, so, yo, <laughs> yo. so yo, they're, they're on a fake plane and then the uber ride is like yeah. oh we're we made it to china in the background there's like a burger king and like a models <laughs> like oh the, this is clear mainstream there's, like, there's a korean shop right <laughs> next to it and, shit. <laughs> and like someone's using a metro cart yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know there's like high schoolers and shit like they're just jumping the tracks and stuff i think it's okay i think when you're making a movie you have restrictions yeah. and you try the best that you can it's weird because the reason why i'm saying is like i my korean sucks right but the interaction between Justin and the Ajishi, right? That was a friend of his father. Authentic. It was, I was like, oh shit! Like this is kind of like the talk I would actually have with uh, a, a like someone that's like elder of mine. If you knew, but more Korean. Yeah, I. They definitely speak better Korean than you. Oh do. hell yeah! I could understand it, but I would be like, nah, <laughs> nah. nah, and just bow, <laughs> bow, and I'll just bow hard, <laughs> like nah. Nah, 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 nah. The extent of Ben's Korean is how hard can you bow? <laughs> yes, my face is hitting my dick at that point. And <laughs> okay. That's what it is. One final movie, and I just want to talk about this quickly. One of my favorite Asian movies is a Japanese anime movie. Okay. I think I've talked about this on the bonus episode, but it's called uh, Your Name, aka Kimi your, Ni... Your Name? Your Name. Oh, Your, your Name. Your Name. Uh, Kimi Ni Nawa. I think that's my perfect Japanese pronunciation. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll let you say perfect. Yeah, I'm saying, say it one more time. It's Kimi... What? Kimi what? Mi- Kimi... Meow Meow? Kimi Ni Nawa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing Clint Eastwood, by the way. Meow Meow. It's about it's a love story where the female and the male switch bodies. <laughs> Ben's already thinking bad things. Oh. Ben's thinking. <laughs> Yo, this guy. Well, I didn't say shit. I didn't say shit. I'm letting you speak, sir. You guys couldn't see his face, okay? You I'm guys, just saying. You guys couldn't see his facial expression. All right, so they swap bodies. How old are they? They're like teenagers. Oh, brave. You can't say anything weird now. Fuck it. Actually, you know what? T- a teenage boy probably is the most likely <laughs> is the most likely age bracket to do All weird right, stuff. So please explain your Japanese porn movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hentai. It's, it's really a hentai. <laughs> Yo, there's an adaptation parody of that shit. What was it called again? Your your name is No, it, it, it's just called your name. Your oh your name. Yeah, your name. Okay. Um so please. they swap bodies. It's a love story and uh Oh. I can't really give away too much of it. Okay. But they swap bodies. And then... He- is it a comedy? That's what I want to know. I mean, it, it, all- better be, it better be a fucking... If you told me it's, it's a thriller, i am like, <laughs> what the... Did they rob a fucking bank? Like, the fuck? All... She runs for a fucking all president? All these movies are like... Have some comedy in them, but it's mainly a love sci-fi story. It's not that much sci-fi. The only sci-fi part is that they're switching That's- bodies. Yeah. So, like, they use science? Was it a mistake? No, it's just some mystical thing. Like, there is no reason why they really switch bodies. And they, they fall in love with each other. This sounds very confusing. <laughs> it is very confusing. Uh, when did this film come out? Uh, I want to say like five, six years ago. Okay. So it's fairly recent, yeah. Anyways, uh, I just wanted to throw in some anime into there because you know me. I love my anime. Oh, it is, a, it is an anime. It's an anime. It's an, so it's it's an anime movie. It's oh, not it's porn. porn. All right. It's not porn. It's hentai. <laughs> <laughs> uh, going on to, you know, the favorite part of the episode where I fucking just punch myself in the face 
This is our favorite part, ranting and raving. Yes. I'm going to just uh, start this off and make it quick because we're running a little bit long here. Oh, shit. My bad. Um, I always get confused when I get bananas and they're green, but they're somehow rotten on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> it's like this banana went straight from like... It's like a scam. Green to brown. There is There was no yellow in between. It's a scam. They like they somehow took out like the really ripe skin and <laughs> just switched it out with like the like shitty bananas. Because I buy the banana, it's there in the basket and I'm like, oh, it's still green. I can't eat it yet. And I touch it. The skin is still kind of dense and like thick. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you don't think it's ready. So you don't bother eating it. That makes sense. Yes. And then after two weeks, you're like, Wait a second. This shit, is st- this shit is still green. Wait, two weeks is actually a while. <laughs> uh, yo, uh, you had me at, yo, when you squeeze it, yes. Yo, two weeks is long, bro. Maybe I'm wrong, but it also feels like organic bananas do this much more often where they just stay green and they don't really ripen that much. And then if they do ripen, it's for like half a day. Um, and it goes straight to brown. Yes, because they're not enhanced with steroids and shit, bro. You do real that. bananas do that? Go from like dark green to brown that fast so i also know if you refrigerate bananas which i, I don't know why you're people not supposed do. to yeah but when you take it out and leave it room temp it actually speeds up um you know the doo-doo effect the ripening but yes. my point is that but two weeks is long bro my point is that it's ripe on the inside but the outside is still green so you can't tell oh uh, okay 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 i see what you're saying how am i supposed to eat it if i can't look at the color so when <laughs> Linji takes it out, i was like why is this chocolate <laughs> so why is my banana chocolate flavor now <laughs> And then at that point, I open it, and they're all yeah. like going bad. I'm like, I have to eat like eight bananas right now. <laughs> I can't eat eight bananas. I'm like picture you like with a fork and knife. Is like, this is the only way I can eat eight bananas at once. I'm not even gonna eat the shit like fucking peeling it. You're like, I gotta just. Uh, someone like, you have a big ass plate of bananas on the floor. I'm too lazy to Google why that's the case. Someone just sign to our DMs. Tell me why that's the case, though. All right, Ben, what do you have to random bitch about this week? Um, what's it? This is the first time I. Uh, took a Korean cab. A lot cheaper. Korean cab. Korean cab. Um, This guy took a sweet ass fucking time. It was a lot longer. I thought Did I was, he go the wrong way? I thought I was going to go to Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's right. I don't live in Long Island, guys. Yes, yes, clearly. I had to grab his phone and put in the address too. Oh. He was like, oh, oh. And then he kept trying to talk to me. But the thing is, like, when he was trying to talk to me, he kept turning his fucking head completely. <laughs> yeah. And looking, like making good eye contact. I was like. He wanted to make sure that you were listening. I was like, oh, I'll just see. No, no, no. Nah, you know, I started sucking my dick. I'm just like bowing and shit. Do you even know how to say look straight forward? I would never say it. But Do you I know say, how to say look forward? I guess my version of it would be like, oh, just mean like, can it just, uh, um, stop it, um, and yourself, which people are going to translate. You could try to do it. I just said, look in I'm front. I'm so of- sorry. Um, can you just drive? Not kill me. <laughs> yeah. Drive in front. Drive that's, in front. That's, that's, what, like, that's the best way. That's as direct as I can be. Drive front. Yeah. Because um, what's it? I was like, oh, I'm gonna be early. It's gonna be great. But he was so nice, and I gave him a really good tip. That was the worst part. So you took a cheaper cab only to give this guy more money to make yeah. it. Yeah. So it was the same net cost, but then you came later. Yes, yes, sir. That's that's well said. Yes, that's the story. I'm of your still life. trying to figure it out. Uh, maybe I'll get rollerblades, you know, and just rollerblade over <laughs> to Luigi. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, guys, we're at the outro right now. Um, we have to record one more episode after this, so uh, we'll see how much energy I have because we ran out of popcorn and we're oh, having sure. some beers. And I haven't even touched my coffee. We made coffee. I have not touched my coffee. Maybe I should start drinking coffee right now. You should put some whiskey in that shit. While I look up this Asian dad joke, can you, Ben, please uh, go through the plugs um, without uh, saying the word uh? Okay, great. Or, um. Uh, what's it? Thank you guys so much for listening. Clearly, I've won in my movie selections. Linji lost me at the last one. But I have to say, if you go back to our previous first episode where we do movie reviews... um, And guys, we didn't talk about a lot of things also, like Minari and... Uh, I did, yeah, I didn't want to actually pick on those because I was also worried. I was like, Linji might pick those. And then me, knowing me, I'm like, I'm not going to have a backup plan. So I'm like, yeah, I'll just nod and blah, blah, blah. But I would say Linji's selection was a lot more solid. His first go back to... please. I'm guaranteeing it is great entertainment. You could just mute my part. Listen to Linji's selections. Absolutely trash. It is so trash. You know, like the, his pornos are just, I don't even know what to say about it. But the movies he mentioned, it actually got, it piqued my interest. What was the um, one you mentioned before? Love. Uh, the, it was like the second film you talked about? The, the Korean one. No, no, no. God damn it. The, <laughs> The Korean one. <laughs> the Korean non hentai version. Past Lives. Past Lives. You should go watch that. I. You asked, that was the first time I was like, oh shit, I definitely want to give this a try. Yeah, it's very interesting. Interesting. Make sure you pay money for it though. 
Uh, not, not implying that I didn't pay money for it. Um, also, if any of you guys watch Gran Torino, um, tell us how racist it was. You know, that would be. It great. was fairly racist. It was, <laughs> it was fairly racist, but uh, you, you do, don't need you know you don't need other people to tell you how. It's not the point of the film, and dude, you were you were crying, laughing every time. Was I, dude? You were you loved that movie. I refuse. I refuse to believe I was a racist. <laughs> it's, it, it's not racist because we're Asian. So I was like, "Oh, imagine Clint Eastwood saying that to our faces." Imagine he was your neighbor. It's like, "Hey, Ling Ling, you know, hey, Ling Ling, yeah, some <laughs> shit. I don't know, you know." But he was cool as fuck. I actually though. think Ling Ling is the name of one of the bears that's being rented to America of right now. One of the panda bears that's being rented to America. I think it's there's actually one called Ling Ling. Excuse exclusive. Go uh, listen to our past episodes. But um, what's it? It was a great episode. Follow uh, us on the, all our social media. Yes. Feel free to listen to the first part of this episode. Uh, uh, this what? episode, this series, this series. Oh yeah, yeah, I was like, I was like, what? They are listening to this. They are listening to this. <laughs> our, our, our favorite <laughs> movies of the 1990s and the 2000s. Okay, I'm gonna end this off with my. Uh, Please be a solid banger, bro. We don't have a lot of Asian you, dad jokes left. Not we. So but. some of our, our listeners and friends have been send, sending us jokes. Um, I'm gonna. Oh. This one comes courtesy of Curtis from the Infatuation Podcast. Courtesy of Curtis. Oh, Curtis. Um. I'm so sorry. I did not send your gift. It's 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 over almost two years. I did not. Send, <laughs> it was a Christmas gift. I I I don't know where it went. Actually, it went somewhere. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> you can tell me the whole story later. I, don't know I will. I, I shall. Okay, Curtis. I'm so sorry, but it's it's real. It's a real gift. I promise. What do you call a male panda? Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all, right, all right, that's a good one. I like that. Amanda. There we go. Thank God. I thought that was kind of weak, but... Really? Yeah, I thought that was okay. Uh, that was better than... I forgot the other ones. But that, that was a good one. You want a, another panda one? Because I have two oh, panda you have another panda? Yeah, bro. Panda, panda, panda. How do Asian bears cook their food? With a pan. Duh. <laughs> That's a good one, too. I like that. Which no, one's better? The- Curtis's or, or mine? Oh, no. The first one was Curtis? Yeah. Oh, damn. Curtis. That was a good one. I'll give you that one, Curtis. That was a good one. Amanda. Uh, all right, guys. Uh, if you want to follow us on uh, on all the social medias, as it's at Word Station Pod. If you want to do us a favor, if you're at this part, maybe you're a loyal listener, leave us a five star review on all the uh, all the places where you can leave reviews. And <laughs> if, more likely than not, I will read your review. Um, and that? if you're doing it internationally, screenshot and DM it to me so I can read it that way. Right. Um, you can also send those letters to our PO box. Just kidding. We don't have a PO box. <laughs> I don't want to read letters because, as you guys know from our past episodes, I don't know how to read English very well. Oh. You guys have to fight. We're doing a lot of like um, references. Yeah, yeah, I like. I like All right, guys, take it easy. We'll see you guys next week. Okay, bye, guys. Love you. Bye, Grand Torino. <laughs>